Hola, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me this lovely Sunday evening for a flip through of my happy mega planner. As always, it's your girl Daniela, aka Miss Four Lizard, aka the planning diva. And I am so excited to share with you what I've been up to in my beautiful Happy Mega Planner, which um, I call her my Happy Mega Planner because she has seven different Happy Planners combined into this one Mega Planner. So I have two Mega Happy Planners um, because I am absolutely extra and I love planning and artistry and everything creative so I, I tend to like get my life from Happy Planner. Uh, they got me. They got me good. But this Happy Mega Planner is... I use it less as a planner. I mean, I do use it as a planner, but or I do use the different sections as planners. But a lot of the time I use them more as journals or workbooks and not necessarily as planners. And you'll see as I flip through it what I mean when I say that. But the cover is, of course, the Jungle Vibes cover, gorgeous, and I have her on these gorgeous hot pink and lavender expander discs, beautiful. So let's flip through this baby of mine, and I've decided to call her Cassiopeia. So my other happy planner, her name's Andromeda, and this one is Cassiopeia, so Andromeda and Cassiopeia are actually figures from Greek mythology and Cassiopeia was a super vain and gorgeous queen and um, Andromeda was her daughter. And Cassiopeia actually was, um, I think she was punished by the gods for being so vain and uh, she was put in a rocking chair in outer space and that's why we have the constellation Cassiopeia. So we're going to flip through this bad boy, so if you're interested, just keep on watching. Alright, so let's get into this. Alright, so the first thing that I did on vacation, and yes, I totally forgot to mention that I was on vacation for about almost two weeks. And so a lot of these spreads are going to be a little bit uh different from what i normally do because i was on vacation and i did bring my planners with me on vacation and i had a lot of fun with them i got my life crafting and planning and decorating my happy planner so i did work in my planner and so it does look filled out but not as filled out as i'm used to having some of these spreads but anyway, you'll see as I go through it. But the first thing I did on vacation was I finally decorated my cover page for this planner. That's something that I've been meaning to do for the longest. And I was so, so happy with how it turned out. I used these super cute floral stickers from this super cute Japanese uh, sticker book that I got in little Tokyo in Los Angeles. I scripted out my name again in this like pink and purple um, color story. I used some Elisa Frank stickers and I used these really cute gem stickers from Michaels to give me that bling bling because you know I am the planning diva. So love how it turned out, very, very happy. And then I also decorated the year at a glance pages with the same florals. I also used some pastel markers that I got on vacation in Mexico. Love how it turned out. And then something I did um, was I decorated the yearly, like the perpetual calendar. I tend to not use this one as much in this mega planner because I have these pages filled out in my other one but I decided to go ahead and decorate it and then just write down things whenever I felt like it. So I don't expect to write in here too much, but it was fun decorating it. I used these really cute stickers from This Is Us, I believe, and these gorgeous Snoopy stickers. 
So there we go. And then we just have the back of that calendar, which I just decorated. And then I have a folder from the Oasis collection, the Mickey Mouse Oasis collection, and some stickers that came from one of the accessory packs tucked in there. I, I love the Oasis collection so, so much. I think I picked up a lot from that collection. Um, there's a couple of things I didn't get, but I did pick up a lot of it. I, I just love that collection so much. And then I have some origami paper here in the back of the folder. I don't do origami, but the designs of these origami pages were so cute and I thought it would be great for decorating. And then I have my sticky note dashboard on some scrapbook paper and I have a bunch of uh, cute Rilakkuma and different Japanese style uh, sticky notes on there. Just some scrapbook paper here. I have another folder with some stationary sheets in here and some sketchbook paper. And then I just have my bookmark uh, for my filler paper. So I just have a bunch of different types of filler paper in here. And then we have my wellness section. So these are pages from a Disney wellness journal. And I don't do these every day, definitely. But once in a while, I'll get into the mood that I want to do one. And so I'll just decorate and play with it. And so I did this one on vacation. Really loved how it turned out. But I have a couple of those in here. And then we have more wellness pages. I filled out this one as well. And you know what? I think I'm gonna move these over here. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna move that one here too. And even though they're like specific to a particular week or a particular day, I just like having them in here because they just make me happy. And I like to kind of like go back and read the things I journaled about. So there we have that. And then we have my first planner section in here, which is my garden planner. And I have that in a skinny planner. It's a classic skinny and I just have the monthly overview where I kind of write down major garden events, usually when I sow seeds and when sprouts emerge. So I kind of get an idea of how long things take as well as when I harvest things. And I have my little garden journal section here. So this was the week I went on vacation. So I don't really have a lot going on here. And then this is the week I was on vacation as well. I came back on Friday. So I did a couple of things in the garden over the weekend. Today's Sunday. And, but this, this section also wasn't super filled out um, because I was on vacation most of the week. And then this is the upcoming week here. I have a couple of things I need to do. And I'm finally, um, I'm finally back in my garden and I'm really excited to be back in my garden. So there we go. I have a folder for photos. Um, I usually take photos of all my like vegetables and things I grow in my garden and I pop those in here until I have a time to um, include them into spreads. And then we have my next section, which is my mindfulness section. I have some stickers on scrapbook paper here. The back of that is my July overview, and then this is the last week in July, and then this is the August overview. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with this section. Uh, I tend to just like play around with it, so I just decorated it. And then I used the section to kind of like map out the different chakras, which I really liked how that turned out. The August overview and then the August monthly. Still deciding what I want to do with this August monthly. For now, I'm trying to like give myself a stamp every time I meditate. Um, do like a like a do like a, a legit you know meditation session. I'll give myself a stamp. Um, we'll see how that goes. So this is the first week in August. I was on vacation again for uh, most of this, but I played around with this spread and I decided that I wanted to use this section here for gratitude. 
and then this the exercise section for meditation and then the today and this grid section i was just going to use as either journaling or decorating so that's what that one looks like and then this is the current week here so again i was on vacation until friday so i wasn't in here as much as i tend to be in here but i really like what i'm doing with the gratitude section here and um yeah so i actually still need to fill out a couple of things in this section so besides the gratitude and mantras and the meditation like stuff that i fill out I also tend to write down things that I learn or that stick out to me from this book that I'm reading. Um, this is called Mastering Mindfulness by Kim Davies and it was actually given to me by my boyfriend and it's a really simple book um, but it really gives you just the basic principles of mindfulness and meditation and I'd like to reflect and journal on what, I, on what I'm reading in that book in this section here. So uh, I, st I actually had read a couple of pages um, this weekend and I still need to journal about it. So I'll probably fill out, you know, some of the more empty spots in this section. And then this is the upcoming week, which I still need to decorate and fill out and set up for the upcoming week. And something that I've been uh, thinking about doing is picking two oracle cards from oracle decks I have and using those as like jumping off points for meditation and for mindfulness. So um, this card here is from the Sacred Self-Care Oracle by Jill Pyle. And this card here is from the Chakra Reading Cards by Rochelle Charman. And they give you like good mantras, good practices, and I think it fits really well with my mindfulness journal. So I just have this clipped in there with these cute Winnie the Pooh clips. And um, I'm actually planning on doing a plan with me for that section. So I still need to film that. So that's why it's blank. And yeah, so that's that section. And then we have my next happy planner section, which is my journal. And so uh, I tend to just decorate the, the monthly overviews for this uh, section because I don't really tend to need to use these in any functional way. Uh, because this is kind of like my diary. So this is the August divider and then the August overview. I mean the August monthly, I tend to just kind of like write something that happened to me that day. Like the major thing that happened to me that day, I'll write it in here. Uh, I'm not too concerned about making sure that I'm keeping up with this. I'll, you know, fill it in when I feel like filling it in. So this is the first week in August and I used some of these larger Mambi stickers and I thought this was super cute. And then this was uh, the current week. Again, I was on vacation. So, um, you know, a little bit different than what I'm used to, but I used the Disney Oasis stickers. Oh, and I love, I love the designs of this so much. And then this is the upcoming week. I went with a Snow White theme and I thought it turned out really cute. So excited to journal in this. And yes, so there we go. Then my next section is my Japanese section. I'm learning Japanese, so I try to practice Japanese as much as possible. And I recently had a revolutionary breakthrough with this planner. Uh, previously, in previous spreads, I was uh, kind of like practicing my characters and the language in this lined vertical format because, I mean, obviously it's a lined vertical uh, planner and at first I was really really happy with how I was working in this planner. I thought the lined vertical really lended itself perfectly to learning a language. Oh and I have just a bunch of stickers here and um, and then I just kind of decided to work outside the lined vertical and I kind of went horizontal and I really really like how that turned out and so this is what that looks like so this was 
last week in July and then August overview still playing around with it I tend to just decorate it not use it very functionally um, I don't really use the different sections that the overview comes with but uh, so August we have my August monthly which again this, I, at first I was using it as kind of like a stamp tracker, so every time I practiced my Japanese, I would give myself a stamp to kind of like motivate me to practice a little bit every day. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want to, like, if I want to do that, if I can keep up with it. Um, I was on vacation for the first half of August, basically, so obviously like I wasn't super um, keeping track, keeping up with this, but maybe I'll return to that. So this was last week. Again, I was on vacation this week. Uh, so I actually did have some time to practice my Japanese. And then this is the current week. Uh, I have my bookmark here. And I have, let me just take this off. So these are the little sheets I use to practice my Japanese. And I went with a green Gudetama theme. I still need to uh, kind of uh, fill out these last couple of days. I haven't practiced Japanese since Thursday, but you know, it'll, it'll take me like an hour to kind of like fill out everything. So my goal is to practice like 10 minutes a day. I think that's doable, right? And I, I've been thinking of maybe uh, practicing a kanji character every single day and then um, putting the kanji character like in the calendar view. I kind of like the idea. So I'm gonna clip this back in here. Ooh. Put in my bookmark. And then we can flip to the upcoming week. So this is the upcoming week. I went with a Gudetama theme. Um, I like using these really cute kawaii stickers in this section because I have a lot of Japanese style stickers. And I think it just goes really, really well with the planner theme which is learning Japanese and I just adore this color block lined vertical this is from the celebrate lined vertical planner really colorful and bright so that's that section and then the next section is my reading section this is my reading journal I'm a huge bookworm and so I love to read and I like to like journal about what I what it is I'm reading I also like to do booktube videos and so it kind of helps me uh kind of guide my thoughts and my talking points for when I want to have like make a booktube video and then um Oh, so this was the last week in July, and then this is the August overview. I like writing down words I've learned or just words that stick out to me in August in this section here. And in this section, I find I write down any books that I learn about that I want to add to my to-be-read list. And then up here, I don't really have that uh, a plan for the sections, kind of just like a free section. So my August overview, then my August calendar view. My August calendar, I tend to make a note of when I start books, when I finish books, when I have book club meetings. And something that I've been, I started doing is actually pasting the cover of the book, um, or like a picture of the cover of the book whenever I finish it. So I'm right, so I finished this book, Food Fix, um, this weekend. And so I just popped that in here. And then this was the first week in August. I found this origami paper, which is such like, it was it was such a cute theme and so relevant to like reading. Um, yeah, it's just this little like cute library, home library, home office uh, theme. So cute. Reading makes me better, very cute. So, and then there's this check-in section down here, which I like to kind of uh, write out where I am in all the books that I'm reading and any goals I might have uh, to reach a certain page number. And the this planner is the Welcome to the Book Club Horizontal Planner, which is so perfect for my reading journal. And then this is the current week here. Um, I use the Disney Oasis stickers. And yeah, and I kind of went with a thicker pen because I just didn't really feel like uh, writing small and it helps to write with a bigger pen when you just want to like write and not kind of like cramp your hand too much and so i just went with a brush pen here and then this is the upcoming week 
very cute. I used some more of that origami paper, some stamps, some bookish stickers, and I used some letter stamps to write out my little reading section. I actually haven't been able to read. I'll probably read some more this weekend, um, this evening, and then kind of finish journaling here. So there we go. And then we have two more sections left. I hope you're still with me. I have a bunch of stickers, again, glued to the back of the scrapbook paper. And then we have my next section, which is um, my for lizard section. So this is everything to do with my YouTube channel and my for lizard persona. So, so this is the planner I use to brainstorm and uh, plan out everything that has to do with my four lizard youtube channel and my four lizard creative ventures so i have my august overview here which i uh, use as like a brainstorming brain dump kind of page we have the august overview and then we have the august calendar which i like to write down all the videos that i publish here and then this is the first week in August, super empty and plain because I was on vacation and I was not filming anything. I thought I would be able to film, but I just didn't get the chance to. And then this is the current week here. So I went with a super cute like dessert uh, Rilakkuma theme, very, very cute. Let me pop this back in. And then this is the upcoming week. I used the Jungle Vibe sticker book and I'm really excited to get into this spread. And yeah, the color block has worked really well for me for this section. And then lastly, this is my last section. You've made it to the last planet in the solar system, but I just have a bunch of color block uh, stickers from the Mickey Mouse color block sticker book. I have a little envelope, a Mickey Mouse envelope with a couple of like little scra uh, scrapbooking type things in here. I tend to save like little pieces of paper, like movie tickets, um, uh, like uh, boarding passes, things like that to scrapbook with because this section is basically my scrapbooking section. It's my memory keeper. I tend to actually not uh, fill out this section until like the week after or even two to three weeks after because I like printing out photos and then putting those photos into the spreads. So this was the last week in June and then we have the July overview and this is one of the only planners that I like to uh, have two months in here at a time instead of just one month. Um, because I have so many planner sections, I tend to just have the month that we're currently in, like August. But because I love this planner so much and I tend to back plan and it takes me a couple weeks or like one to two weeks to um, fill out the spreads, I tend to have the whole month, like two months in here. So this planner is one, I forget what the planner is called, but it's one that has these really beautiful realistic floral shots and photography in it it's a vertical style which i love for memory planning um for the monthly overview i like to make a note of important events that are happening and have happened and then so this is the first week in july uh, sometimes i have i take so many photos that i want to include that i just include like pieces of scrapbook paper and i clip them into here um just so i can include as many photos as i want so i had friends visiting that weekend um yeah I had more friends visiting fun times with my boyfriend uh, just a fun week with friends and family. Um, yeah, this week was fun too. Hanging out with my boyfriend, hiking, beach dates, tennis dates. This was the last week in July. I hung out with my friends in Los Angeles. I went hiking. Um, I actually filmed this plan with me. It's on my channel if you want to check it out. And then we have the August overview, which I tend to just use this space as 
um, like a gallery of my favorite moments that happened in the month. So this is the August. Still haven't decorated my August overview. I gotta do that. This this planner is definitely the one that has least decorated right now because I was on vacation and I have all these awesome photos from vacation that I want to print out. I actually just printed them out and um, I have to go pick them up. But as you can see, I do use sticky notes to kind of uh, make notes of things that are happening and just to just make notes to remember of things that happened as well and to you know plan um, so I do have things planned out in here but I use sticky notes until I am able to like print out photos and really decorate to my heart's content and this is a random um, sticker my boyfriend got for me when he went to Austin <laughs> It's really funny. I can't wait to use this. So yeah, uh, probably the, by the next uh, flip through of this planner, these pages will all be decorated. So you'll see all of my photos I took during my vacation. I'm really excited for those to come out so I can decorate this section. And yeah, that is, uh, that's it. That's all of the sections in Cassiopeia, my beautiful Cassiopeia, which has a lot of my fun journals and planners in her. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!